Beetle Girls or Beetlejuice. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it will extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's very unstable. It's about to explode. Scientists now believe Betelgeuse has consumed a companion star, making it look like pre-supernova. Betelgeuse, one of the most mysterious and talked about stars in the night sky, is stirring up excitement once again. If you've ever gazed at the Orion constellation, you've likely spotted this massive red giant lighting up Orion's shoulder. But here's where things get really wild. Scientists have just made a jaw-dropping discovery that changes everything we thought we knew about Betelgeuse. It might have eaten a companion star. Yep, you heard that right. Star cannibalism. And this cosmic snack could be the reason Betelgeuse is behaving so strangely and may be on the verge of going supernova. Ready to unravel this stellar mystery? Let's explore what's going on with Betelgeuse. So why all the hype around Betelgeuse recently? In case you haven't been following the story, Betelgeuse has been acting super strange over the past few years. Back in 2019, the star started dimming significantly, which set off a wave of speculation that it was about to go supernova. And this is a big deal. When a star like Betelgeuse explodes, it's one of the most spectacular events in the universe. A supernova can outshine entire galaxies and be visible even during the day. But despite all the excitement, the star didn't explode. Instead, what astronomers have been seeing is even weirder. Betelgeuse's brightness has fluctuated erratically, and its surface has been bubbling and shifting in ways we've never seen before. Observations have revealed that its brightness decreased by nearly 30% in late 2019, which had astronomers scratching their heads. Was this dimming a sign of an imminent explosion, or was something else at play? The plot thickens as researchers observe massive convective cells on its surface hot gas rising and cooler gas sinking in a chaotic dance. This turbulent behavior leads scientists to think that something drastic might be happening within the star. So what's the latest theory? Scientists now believe Betelgeuse may have swallowed a companion star, which could explain these bizarre behaviors and give it new characteristics. If true, this star cannibalism could have significant implications for our understanding of massive stars and their life cycles shedding light on the processes that govern stellar evolution in binary systems. As the mystery unfolds, we're left wondering what this means for Betelgeuse and ultimately for the universe as a whole. Betelgeuse, a star in its twilight. All right, let's take a step back and dive into what makes Betelgeuse so fascinating. It's a red supergiant, one of the largest and most massive types of stars in the universe and it's nearing the end of its life. These stars burn through their nuclear fuel at an astonishing rate, causing them to expand to incredible sizes. Betelgeuse is a beast. It's about 700 times larger than our sun and nearly 14,000 times brighter. And even though it sits around 600 light years away from Earth, that distance is relatively close in cosmic terms, practically in our stellar backyard. Now, like all massive stars, Betelgeuse has gone through various phases of fusing elements. It started with hydrogen, then moved to helium, and now it's burning heavier elements like carbon. Once it exhausts those elements, it'll no longer have the fuel to fight against the force of gravity. At that point, the core will collapse, leading to a massive explosion known as a supernova. But here's where things get interesting. Recent observations suggest that Betelgeuse's behavior might be linked to the presence of a companion star, which it may have already consumed. This relationship could be influencing its rapid rotation in the peculiar patterns we see on its surface. Astronomers theorize that in a binary star system, one star can siphon material from its companion, altering its mass and behavior dramatically. This theory not only helps explain Betelgeuse's odd behavior, but also opens up new avenues for understanding how massive stars evolve and interact in their final stages. As we peel back the layers of this cosmic mystery, Betelgeuse continues to capture our imagination, leaving us eager for what's to come. They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe. The Companion Star Theory. Now let's break down this mind-blowing new theory the idea that Betelgeuse may have consumed a companion star. This theory stems from some peculiar observations regarding Betelgeuse's rotation. For a star of its immense size and late stage of life, Betelgeuse is spinning way too fast, 
so fast that it defies expectations for a red supergiant that's nearing the end of its life cycle. Scientists believe the key to this mystery could be that Betelgeuse once had a smaller companion star orbiting it in a binary star system. Here's how the theory works. In a binary star system, two stars orbit each other, and occasionally one star can grow large enough to engulf its smaller neighbor. In Betelgeuse's case, as it expanded, its outer layers could have enveloped and ultimately absorbed the companion star. When this happens, the larger star can gain both mass and angular momentum from the companion, which could explain why Betelgeuse is spinning much faster than a typical star of its size and age. This cosmic cannibalism might also contribute to its strange dimming behavior and hint at its readiness to explode as a supernova. How Scientists Made This Discovery So how did scientists come to the conclusion that Betelgeuse may have consumed a companion star? Well, it wasn't some simple observation. Astronomers used advanced telescopic technology, like the Atacama Large Millimeter, JA Submillimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile, which allowed them to take a much closer look at Betelgeuse's surface and its peculiar rotational speed. ALMA, with its incredible ability to observe fine details in submillimeter wavelengths, gave astronomers a detailed view of the star's outer layers. And what they found was astonishing. First, they noticed Betelgeuse's surface wasn't smooth at all. Instead, it was bubbling with enormous convective cells, regions where hot gas rises to the surface, cools, and then sinks back down. These bubbling regions are massive, much larger than anything we see in our sun, and create the kind of chaotic, boiling appearance that you'd expect from a star nearing the end of its life. But what really stood out was Betelgeuse's surprisingly high rotational velocity. Here's the deal. Stars as large as Betelgeuse, especially red supergiants in their later stages, typically rotate very slowly. Over time, they lose angular momentum as they expand and burn through their fuel. But Betelgeuse is spinning much faster than scientists anticipated. By running computer simulations and models, researchers discovered that this rotational speed couldn't be explained by normal stellar evolution alone. That's when they came up with the theory that Betelgeuse may have absorbed a companion star at some point, adding angular momentum and mass, and causing it to spin faster than it should at this stage. This companion star theory provided a plausible explanation for Betelgeuse's strange behavior, and it's changing the way scientists think about its future. Star cannibalism, a common phenomenon? What's really fascinating about the idea that Betelgeuse might have consumed a companion star is that this process, often referred to as stellar cannibalism, isn't as uncommon as you might think. In fact, this phenomenon occurs in many binary star systems throughout the universe. In these systems, two stars orbit each other, but if one of them is much larger or evolves faster, things can get intense. As the larger star expands in its later life stages, it can begin pulling in material from its smaller companion star. Sometimes this process is gradual, with the larger star siphoning gas from the companion over time. But in more extreme cases, the smaller star can be completely engulfed, vanishing inside its massive neighbor. When this happens, the larger star not only gains mass, but it can also absorb the smaller star's angular momentum, causing it to spin faster than normal. This stellar cannibalism can dramatically change the star's behavior, influencing everything from its rotation speed to its eventual supernova. And in the case of Betelgeuse, scientists believe this is the most likely explanation for its unusual rotational velocity and other strange activity we've been seeing lately. What's next for Betelgeuse? So what happens next for Betelgeuse? Is it really on the verge of going supernova? Well, that's the billion dollar question. The truth is, while scientists have gathered a ton of evidence pointing to Betelgeuse nearing the end of its life, we can't say exactly when the explosion will occur. It could happen tomorrow, or it could take thousands of years. But the star's bizarre behavior, dimming unexpectedly, brightening again, and now the discovery of its fast rotation, suggests that Betelgeuse is in its final stages. The recent theory that Betelgeuse consumed a companion star only adds to the intrigue, as it may have accelerated its timeline for going supernova. When Betelgeuse does explode, it's going to be an astronomical event of epic proportions. 
We're talking about a supernova so bright that it could be visible during the day, potentially shining as brightly as the full moon at night. Imagine looking up and seeing a new moon hanging in the sky. Some scientists predict that it could remain visible for weeks or even months, dominating our night sky. It would be the brightest supernova witnessed by humans in modern times, and such a cosmic event would be an unforgettable spectacle for stargazers and scientists alike. Will Betelgeuse's supernova affect Earth? So should we be worried if Betelgeuse goes supernova? Thankfully, the answer is no. While 600 light years might seem close on a cosmic scale, it's still a safe distance for us here on Earth. When Betelgeuse explodes, it will release an immense amount of energy, but the harmful radiation, such as gamma rays, will dissipate long before reaching our planet. What we'll experience instead is a breathtaking light show, an awe-inspiring supernova that's bright enough to see during the day without posing any threat to life on Earth. We get all the beauty with none of the danger. What this means for science, beyond the excitement of a potential supernova, Betelgeuse is teaching us a lot about stellar physics. The fact that it might have consumed a companion star challenges our understanding of how stars evolve, especially in their final stages. It also gives us a deeper insight into how binary systems interact and influence the behavior of stars like Betelgeuse. As technology advances, we'll likely learn even more about this red supergiant and its unusual past. So there you have it, folks. Betelgeuse, the red supergiant that might have gobbled up a smaller star and could be on the verge of a supernova explosion. It's one of the most intriguing stars in our night sky, and we're living in a time where we might witness something truly historic. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more cosmic content.